hello and welcome back to the channel, my wonderful, wonderful subscribers. If you guys are new here, I'm Ochi. I am a Sailor Moon collector that does Sailor Moon reviews here on YouTube. I also keep everybody up to date on new Sailor Moon merchandise that drops here in the United States on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. So if that is of interest to anybody out there, make sure you check me out on those accounts so you can stay up to date on new Sailor Moon merchandise here in the United States. I do that because I want to help spread the word of new Sailor Moon merchandise that drops here because I want to see Sailor Moon succeed, especially since it's the 25th anniversary of Sailor Moon here in North America. So over the last couple of days, I have been sharing all of my new Sailor Moon mail that I've been getting on my Instagram stories. And a lot of you have asked me, when are you going to do your video, Ochi? I want to know what you think about these products. Well, the time is upon us. We are going to open these today, right here right now. But first, let me tell you guys all about chocolate. And that's chocolate with double O's, you guys. So I'm not sure if they actually pronounce it as chocolate or chocolate. I'm not sure. If anybody out there knows the exact pronunciation of this brand, let me know down there in the comments. I'm just going to go ahead and call it chocolate for this entire video, so I apologize if that is not the correct pronunciation. So Chocolate is a fashion boutique that is based out of Hong Kong. And in January 2020, they announced they were doing yet another Sailor Moon collaboration. Chocolate is no stranger to Sailor Moon. They have done previous collabs with Sailor Moon, and I have a couple pieces from those collabs as well. But I'm not going to talk about the previous collabs in this video. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that Chocolate is known for collabing with Sailor Moon, and this is not their first collaboration. This is just their most recent collaboration. So you may notice this beautiful hoodie that I'm wearing. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Look at the colors on this. There's, it's so pastel-y and rainbow-y and it's on this beautiful vanilla color hoodie. And I'm going to tell you all right now, it is as soft as silk. This is probably the most quality hoodie I have ever purchased. And I'm really not a hoodie girl at all because I don't like long sleeves normally, but I feel right at home in this hoodie. It is so comfortable. I have absolutely no regrets of buying this. I am wearing a size medium, so as you can kind of see on me, they kind of run a little bit on the larger size. And I feel like the opening here at the bottom of the hoodie is a little bit wider than normal hoodies. So it's really stretchy, it's really comfy, you don't feel like you're suctioned into it. It's very roomy. I love it. I, I can't put it more simply than that. It's just, it's perfect. And they call this hoodie the Sailor Moon Character Graphic Hoodie. And it came in two colors. It came in the vanilla ice color, which I'm wearing right now. And it also came in a purple lilac color. And they ran 439 HKD. As we're looking at the image on the hoodie, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And you're going to notice that it's all Sailor Stars based. So we have Eternal Sailor Moon and her guardians. Touching the print, you can really tell that it's a high quality screen print. So I feel like it's not going to crack as soon as some other cheaper screen printings do. So all in all, it's a quality AF hoodie, you guys. But now on to the fun stuff. So you're going to see over here these kind of plain cardboard boxes with some Sailor Moon items printed on the box. So all the way over here, you're going to see I have the Stallion Rev lamp. And a little trivia for you folks out there, and just in case you don't know, Rev is actually the French word for dream. And this lamp retailed $3.99 HKD. And right next to it, you're going to notice I have the Eternal Moon Article Bluetooth speaker. And this sucker kind of made me mad because I spent a fortune on this. And I'm not going to reveal how much I paid for it because a lot of you guys already know how much people were charging for this damn thing. When it was a free item. Yeah, it was free. If you spent 1200 HKD at the chocolate stores, you got this item for free. So you did kind of have to spend a lot to get this item for free, but the price that some people were actually reselling this for was just so incredibly high. But I'm not going to get into that because this is all about opening these up and letting you guys know what I think of these products. So I'm wondering which one we should start with first. I think I want to go with the Stallion Rev. So let's go ahead and start with this one. 
so here is the box of the stallion rev lamp and i'm just going to kind of show you the box my box is a little bit damaged it did get a little bumped during the shipment so i've got like this beautiful crease right here which I'm not really happy about but the side of the box seems to be the same on each side here is the back of the box showcasing their slogan let's just keep everything simple and neat got it they do tell you to recycle right here which is kind of cool because my home is a very green friendly home we do our own recycling so i'm really down with that and then it does have the international sailor moon logo on it and then they also have the toei animation seal right here printed on there however on the bottom is where you're going to find the toei sticker and here is the bottom of the box and here is the real toei sticker right here it's going to give you a little bit of details right here about the material dimensions the voltage the power and you're also going to see that retail price that i told you guys just a bit ago this is in hong kong dollars so this is not almost 400 dollars and then on the top of the box, we just have a little tab here, which we are going to flip open and we're going to reveal what's inside. So even though my box did get creased and kind of dinged up during shipping, I didn't have to worry about the contents inside because look how nicely they pack it with this, of course, plastic, which you're going to want to recycle. But you can tell that this is not going to get damaged. Ooh, it's a big puppy. We also got a little manual inside. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm super stoked for this because I do not own the original Japanese 90s toy of this item. So I haven't been able to buy it for my own collection, but I heard this one is very close to scale as the original. This is going to be like a good placeholder until I can afford to get the original. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at this manual that is included with it. And I'm laughing because it says table lamp. Okay. That's what they're going to choose to call it. And right as you open up the booklet, this is the English operation instructions. But this information on this page is what we're going to need to use to operate this lamp. So this is the cable that they provide. It looks like it's a micro USB to USB A. Yes, we got the micro USB to USB A. All right, I am ready to get in this. Let's see if it's taped or what. Okay. Nope, must just be pieced in there. Yep. Wow, I'm going to tell you guys by holding it right now, it's very lightweight. It feels <laughs> very cheap, sadly. I mean, really, it is just plastic throughout the entire thing with this gold shiny paint that makes it look like a million bucks. I mean, it looks just like it does in the anime. The paint is pretty good. I'm not seeing very much flaws. So I would say the paint is just as good as the Proplicas. This part is just a sticker down there with the Inner Guardians planetary symbols. And then let's take a look at the bottom here. Oh, okay. So we have the Sailor Moon International logo right down here in the copyrights. And then, oh, look, where have we seen this before? Let's just keep everything simple and neat. So we've got the chocolate slogan right there on the bottom as well. And here's where we're going to put the micro USB part in. So you guys ready? You guys ready to see the light features on this lamp? So what I had to go get upstairs is this USB wall adapter. So you're going to want one of these to plug it in. All right, we are ready to go, you guys. But before I go ahead and plug it in, I want to remind you guys, if you guys enjoy Enjoy this kind of videos and like my content please make sure to give this video a thumbs up that's gonna show me that you guys like it it's gonna motivate me to continue to make more videos for you guys and it's gonna help my channel grow so be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy content from me I would appreciate that very very much okay it is in I'm going to change views so we can see this a little better. Okay, guys? Okay, so here we are about to begin. I do want to reference just real quick to the manual. We're going to press the middle button and the light should appear in a white color. And then if we press it one time, the light will change to different colors. Press it twice, the light will be turned off. So that's what we're going to do. And it says that the on and off button is the little gem right here. So let's do this. 
there's the white light that we're talking about. So I went ahead and turned off my overhead light so we can just see this light right here. I am going to turn off my lamps that I have shining on this one. So let's see what it'll look like. Okay, so here it is in the dark. This is just the continuous white light that we're gonna see. And that's how about how bright it is. Let's go ahead and press it again. And this is the color change mode that we get. So it's going to cycle through some colors here. So I have all my lights back on. It is on the color changing mode right now. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not anything super bright at all. This is not going to be able to keep a room lit up, but I think it'd be cool as like a night light or something like that. So, so this is basically all it does. It's just a lamp. You're not going to be able to see Pegasus inside of it <laughs> unless you use your imagination and pretend like the glowing orb is Pegasus. But I am going to be completely honest with you guys about this. I do not believe it is worth the price that it is going for at this moment of time. It is going for 130 US dollars or more on eBay or from the resellers on Instagram. I believe that is way too high for this because it's just plastic. It feels very plastic. It feels very cheap. Yes, the paint job is good and everything, but I mean, you can see how small it is in my hand. And I know I say small, but this is the actual size of the Stallion Rev, but the size, the cheap plastic feel, the bottom here just being a sticker, it's just not worth $130. So so if you can find it for less than a hundred dollars I would say that would be best because I do believe this was about 50 US dollars so if you can get it around that mark to a hundred maybe it's worth it but anything higher than that it's just I, I really regret paying this much for this item you know how like you can't really tell the quality of an item until you have it in your own hands and this was the case with this I was very very impressed with the photos when this item was announced and all of the collectors out there who got it before me I was like oh my gosh it looks so freaking gorgeous in photos and the light looks like it's gonna be cool but honestly I'm just not that impressed for the price that I paid for this if I paid closer to the actual retail price this was like if I paid $60 for this I would say oh heck yes this is absolutely worth it for $60 this would be a cool item for $60 but I paid over $100 for this and it is absolutely not worth it man i'm going on a tangent here i mean it is beautiful as you guys are seeing on the screen right now it is a beautiful piece it's probably going to look really awesome in my collection on my shelves so maybe i'll grow to love it a little bit more later after i get over the fact that i spent so much on this you know how time goes by and you forget what you paid for an item and it's just it doesn't matter anymore so once i reach that point in my life where the price that i paid for this doesn't matter anymore i think i will enjoy it a lot more okay well that's enough about the stallion rev lamp let's go ahead and open up the eternal moon article bluetooth speaker all right so here's the box let's just keep everything simple and neat you guys and that's what they are doing throughout this box really nothing to report that is different on this box guys you're gonna notice there isn't a price on this sticker like there was on the rev and remember i said at the beginning of the video that this was a free item if you spent 1200 Hong Kong dollars at chocolate. So here are the specs right here for the Bluetooth speaker. We got the same tab system here, so we're just gonna open it up. And it looks like we got a little foam piece to prevent it from getting scratched up. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a little manual here as well. Let's just take a quick peek at it. Here is the English part of the manual. So if you guys want to pause here and read all of this, feel free to. Oh, look here, guys. It looks like you're going to want to charge it for approximately three hours to get a full charge. So just like other Bluetooth speakers, you're going to need to pair this up. These are the instructions on how to do so. Hey, let's get this puppy out. Here's the cable inside the box at the bottom. This is the exact same cable that the Stallion Rev came with. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just so beautiful. I hope it's registering just as beautiful on camera. Are you guys seeing this? Like really seeing this? Wow. 
Okay, straight out of the box, this feels heftier than the lamp. This feels a lot more quality than the lamp, probably because it has a big old battery back here. Here's the back. We have a beautiful logo right here. So this does open up right here by just a little bit of pressure. You guys saw how I kind of popped it open just a little bit. Oh my gosh, internal screaming right now. I already love this so much more than the Rev. And I didn't expect that because I do have the original 90s toy of this, but I don't have it in the Rev. So I I'm very shocked that I like this one better. Just FYI for you guys out there. If you notice, apparently this gym right here is incorrect. It's like a yellow gym on this Bluetooth speaker, but it's supposed to be like a purplish color, like a darker purple than this one. So they do have a little mistake on here and here's where you put in the cable is in the back here oh what what okay that cable is preventing me from opening it you guys because of the top part of this right here I cannot what the heck okay you see that look it prevents you from opening it and you can't this is not the cable part this is that hard piece so you're not gonna be able to open it fully it's not gonna have its full range of opening but there is the red light. It is right here. We can see that it is charging. I'm going to let this get fully charged before we use it so we can hopefully get the best sound possible. Okay guys, I've got this thing charged up and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to pair it. All it wants you to do is hold down this on off button, which is the star right here for three seconds until we see a blue LED flash. All right, that tells us it's ready to be paired. I have brought down my husband's phone so we can pair it with it. All right, so it did say in the instruction manual that it would show up as Sailor Moon underscore CCL, and we are gonna pair it. All right, I, I believe we're ready to play music. I'm unsure if you're supposed to keep it open. Probably doesn't matter because the speaker is on the back. So I'll go ahead and keep it shut so you guys can see the beautiful Eternal Moon article as we play a song. Wow, so I think it sounds pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can hear that through your sound since it is gonna be through a video. It sounded like just like any other Bluetooth speaker I've used, so I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so I do wanna point out that these two things right here are actually buttons. I know it's super hard to tell because look how similar they look to the rest of the design on the inside of the compact, but this is actually a skip track button if you short press it and this is a skip backwards button if you short press it but if you long press this one this is a volume up if you long press this one this is a volume down so i'm going to demonstrate that for you So yeah, that is what you can do with these two buttons right here. They have two functions. You can skip tracks, go backwards in tracks, and turn up the volume and turn down the volume. So I'm going to disconnect this speaker from my husband's phone just to see if it does anything. All right, it does the sound when you disconnect as well. That's really neat. So the speaker is ready to be repaired with the same device that you connected it to or a different device. It does say it will be on standby mode and continue to be ready to pair with another device for about five minutes and then it will automatically shut itself off. So you don't have to worry about turning it off because it will do it on its own. 
So let's see if we can go ahead and shut this off now by pressing the on off button. Ta-da! It is now off. See how it's not blinking anymore? And that is the Eternal Moon Article Chocolate Bluetooth Speaker. So that was the Sailor Moon chocolate items that came out this last January 2020. I am super surprised that I wasn't as impressed as I thought I would be with the Stallion Rev Lamp. That was kind of a shocker to me. Just because the lamp feature alone didn't sell it enough for me for the price that I paid for this. I thought that this one was going to be my absolute favorite out of the two because I do not own the original 90s toy of this. I'm just not feeling this one at all. Although in contrast, I absolutely love the Eternal Moon Article Bluetooth speaker. What a cool item to have as a Sailor Moon fan when you're on the go and you need to play some tunes. You can bust this out of your purse, bag or backpack or whatever and blast some tunes through this and anybody else who's around you who is a Sailor Moon fan is going to notice this. It's freaking gorgeous and it just feels like it is a quality piece of equipment. So were you guys able to tell if the sound was good coming out of this in my video? Let me know in the comments what you guys think because it probably was hard to distinguish the quality of sound since I was recording it. You'll just have to take my word that the sound is pretty decent. I had no complaints at all with the sound just sounds like a normal bluetooth speaker to me guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video i work really hard on them as you guys know and i am very appreciative to anybody who comes back and watches each and every one of my videos so thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this i've got more coming so make sure you hit that subscribe button what did you guys think of these is there one that you like more more than the other do you guys side with me in my opinion of this one being a little bit underwhelming versus this one let me know what you guys think of these items in the comments down there i'm always curious to know your guys's opinions because it could differ from mine so let me know what you guys think of these items down there in the comments or if you're thinking about getting these for yourself maybe i've convinced you that this one is the one to buy either way let me know i want to know your guys's thoughts leave me a comment down there below Get, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i will see you guys in the next video so thanks so much much.